Hi Twin Flames, I'm Lisey and here is your Twin Flame message today. I'm going to be going deeper into the Shaman's Dream Oracle by Colette Baron reed and Alberto Vieira and uh, just looking at the cards that come up. I've pre-shuffled the deck. I'm going to cut it again and just draw from the top. So we've got the first card is wishing mirror vanishing mirror excuse me vanishing mirror card 58 and it says ego sublimation my god they just <laughs> the cards just took us into the deep end in our twin flame unions your twin flame is your divine mirror they're your ultimate lover your perfect partner your best friend your spiritual teacher they are also your perfect divine mirror what does that mean how are they your mirror so your twin flame is uh, someone who shares the same soul blueprint as you and they're not you don't you're not a half of a soul like they're not the other half of your soul it's more like a carbon uh, not a carbon copy a soul blueprint copy like you know biological twins they share the same dna you and your twin flame share the same soul dna but that's a place outside of time so don't think about it like, oh, we have the soul, same soul DNA, but unlike biological identical twins, um, you and your twin flame are A, not identical, you're complementary, and B, identical biological twins can kind of like grow separately, not with you and your twin flame, because this, this soul DNA is outside of time. Anyway, so because you share the same soul DNA, because you're, you know, it's like the same overarching consciousness, they're your perfect mirror, right? They're going to reflect things back to you for healing. And what I like about this picture is this is a really good visual representation of what happens when you take your power back um, from what's happening in your union and you start to heal what is being reflected back to you through the mirror. And when you do this, you come into harmonious twin flame union with your twin flame. You've got to do this, you know, it's a practice. It's a spiritual practice. Um, meaning you do it every day and what's happening so I'm just going to break it down into like layman's terms and talk about like a mundane situation of what the mirror means so you um, you're walking along on your day-to-day -day life and you've got your twin flame you know who they are maybe you don't but let's just give a scenario you, you got this person you think is your twin flame and they're ignoring you right it's a very common upset in consciousness there's a, a, an ego pattern in that ignoring. So you feel bad. Oh, they're ignoring me. I just, you know, shared my heart and I got completely ignored and, you know, left on red or, you know, whatever. And that feels bad, right? So that bad feeling is not in alignment with divine love, right? The bad feeling, though, is indicating something. It's being reflected to you. So then you use something called the mirror exercise. It's a four-step process. It's very easy, and it pinpoints exactly what it is your twin flame is reflecting to you and where it is inside of your heart. Where you are one with your twin is in your heart. It's not this woo-woo, like tele tele telepathy, um, oh, my twin flame and I have the same nose profile, or, you know, oh, we have the same color eyes. No, it's nothing on the outside. It's here. The, th that might happen. You might have some telepathic stuff come up, but... Where you're one with your twin flame is in your heart. So you use the four-step mirror exercise to see what they're showing you and then bring love there. And that is found in this book. It's by Jeff and Shalia. Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. The mirror exercise works. It's all written in this book. Go get this book. It's a really nice book. There's a lot of stuff in it about your twin flame dynamic. So what you want to do is you want to continue to to Feel your feelings and love yourself using the mirror exercise and um, bring yourself back into alignment. And it's a good thing that your twin flame reflected this pattern to you to heal. This is The mirror exercise doesn't blame you or say that um, it's your fault that they're ignoring you. That's not what it is. Um, I'm just going to go through it really quickly um, as I hold up the card because I just like this image. So it's four steps. So here's the mirror exercise with what happens when your twin flame is ignoring you. Step one, you write down your upset. I'm upset because my twin flame is ignoring me. You write it down. Step two, you change all the nouns into pronouns and you point them at yourself 
I'm upset because I'm ignoring myself somewhere, right? It doesn't mean you're ignoring them. It means you're, it's, they're showing you what you're doing within, the ego pattern within. Step three, you ask yourself, is this true? And the answer is always yes. And so here's some examples of where it could be true that you don't see, right? Your twin flame is always reflecting, reflecting the things that you don't see. So maybe you ignore your beauty, you ignore um, your finances, maybe you ignore um, doing something uh, for self-care, like maybe you ignore your intuition, maybe you ignore, you know, what you, what you share, like maybe you don't feel that what you share is worthy, da 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 da, da. All, all sorts of places where you're basically ignoring your divinity on some level. Step four is the most important step. Don't just stop with step three. Oh, I found it. Ask the part of you um, causing the issue what it needs to feel loved and then give that to yourself. Well, what do you need to feel loved there where you're feeling ignored or where you notice that you're ignoring yourself? Well, I just need to give myself, you know, some love and energy and, and to tell myself that I, I get to focus on myself now. And I, I don't have to completely always focus on the external like I can focus on what I want to do and it's safe and you're not going to lose your twin flame. In fact, that's a very attractive energy there. So once you give yourself all the love that you need in this place, then you can, you know, integrate this part of you and you've completed one mirror exercise. Good. And it's a spiritual practice and you do it again and again and again. And this is how I healed my union. This is why um, Josh and I are moving into a house together after you know doing this work watching twin flame ascension school and receiving coaching so one last word about the mirror exercise and then i'm going to draw a bunch of other cards for you so i am a master certified ascension coach that means um i have over 2,000 hours of experience working with twin flames on this journey real twin flame people that are you know wanting their true twin flame and so i guide my clients using the mirror exercise because it's it's not for toddlers. It's something that is a very powerful, potent spiritual tool, and it will heal you completely if you go through all the steps. So very lot of energy put into this card. <laughs> Let's go through more of the cards. We've got the crossing, initiation, card 54. A five and a four is a nine. Nines are at the end of a cycle. They mean completion. And so what you're twin flames what you're doing is you're crossing into a new vortex you're you're stepping out from maybe maybe you're tired of experiencing separation from your twin flame you're meant to live with them and be with them in this lifetime you're you're meant to serve humanity together in this lifetime you're not meant to be separate from them you're not designed that way and so you're starting to really choose this truth at your core and go into the next vortex there's going to be many crossings in your journey right but this is the one that you're on right now is very important and you can see there's like a person walking into that orb there that portal the 1111 portals coming up guys so make sure you stay tuned to my channel because i'm going to be doing some cool stuff on 1111 so it's not that it's like magic and if you miss it you're not going to be in union don't worry <laughs> but um, there, there are, there's something to be said about these, um, you know, like places where you, you transition from one vortex or thought of thinking into a new way of being. So that's coming up for you guys. Cool. The next card is, Ooh, benefactor, grace and generosity. And there's a mushroom here. That's kind of like, have you ever seen a mushroom that like, kind of like gets so I don't want to say ripe. Mushrooms don't ripen. I don't know. Like <laughs> unfolds and it's kind of like folding like an upside down umbrella. And it's got, look at two cute, cute, cute little mice. And one of them's wearing a crown. Very cute stuff. So this is a really good sign for you. It's a three for manifestation. Really good sign for you and your union telling you that union is possible with your true twin flame in the physical. You don't have to just sit and have dreams about them or, you know, oh, I, I saw a number, you know, like you're going to get that, right? But those are pointing you somewhere. You're not supposed to just spin around in this like land of getting signs and synchronicities for the rest of your life. You are supposed to have this, yes, with your true twin flame. Yes, 
this is what I have now from doing this work. <laughs> I promise. So um, the benefactor in this card, what um, I'm tuning into is this is spirit. This is none other than God. If you want to say God, I say God. Um, spirit source, the creator, whatever, whatever's happening. God wants you and your twin flame to be together. He designed you that way. He created you that way as one with your twin flame. Why aren't you with your twin flame right now? You might ask. It's because there are layers of separation within your heart. Um, beliefs in non-love. This vi Vibrationally, you haven't attained the unconditionally loving state of being that would allow you to be with your twin flame. And you might be like, yes, I have. Well, if your twin flame is not with you, I promise you, you haven't yet, yet, to the degree that um, is required to maintain your union. It's relatively easy to get into union, but to maintain it, it requires deep inner work, which is, it's good. It feels really good. The inner work's purpose is to love you. So as you continue to love yourself, using the mirror exercise, using the tools in the book that I showed you, you're supposed to get this and you will. It's inevitable. If all you do is never give up, you can never fail. And that's a quote from Jeff and Shalia. So let me know if you want to go deeper. If you're ready to have this, this is something I can guide you with. I can guide you towards. Let's go more, more cards. Sky writing, the fates. This is a really interesting card. There's, you've got a moon, it's 49, um, and that would be a four and a nine or fifth, no, 13, right, right? Okay, and a one and a three is a four. So this is a really foundational card. Sky writing the fates, you see those runes inside and then you've got like a, a little angelic being there um, with a feather quill that's illumined and just writing down um, the, the story of your union's life. Now here's the thing that you need to know about this. Your union, that there's no one, there's no like person out here that's writing your story without your permission. You are co-creating, this is actually you, right? You're co-creating your reality with spirit with source and you're just as much in charge of it as spirit now you don't have the power to like you know zap lightning out of your finger maybe some of you do please let me know in comments if you zap lightning out of your finger <laughs> or if you can be like i desire a pot of gold and it appears if you can comment we're gonna talk right but um what this means is when you create your reality um you partner with your creator in your heart. You choose things. I choose to be in harmonious twin flame union now. I choose to be with my ultimate lover. And then once you choose, because you're actually driving, spirit does the work and brings you what you need to heal in order to, to be in harmonious union, right? So a lot of you are like, well, I want to choose it and I want it to happen now. Well, it's vibrationally happening now, but there there's a divine order to how what you need um, your spiritual strength and power and tools what you need in order to actually be with your one true love and maintain that because let me tell you if you're in um, you're experiencing separation with your twin flame and um, you suddenly came into union whatever is happening inside of your one consciousness at the core at the heart level is going to be amplified because you and your twin flame are one and you reflect each other so it's going to be a lot of amplification if you haven't got your finances sorted your twin flame hasn't either and it's going to be a mess so you want to get those sorted if you are um, needing them to give you anything like love attention affection validation if you need that to come from them not going to happen they're your divine mirror. So if you're looking to them for that, you're going to simulate a cat chasing its own tail kind of pattern. I want you to validate me, please. Why aren't you validating me? Because you're looking outside of yourself for love. You need to give that to yourself. So if you're in separation, it's not a bad thing. It's there so that you can start to practice the spiritual tools that you need as you write your story, right? And it's more compassionate for you to have a little bit of space now to heal and you're being given the tools yes <laughs> wasn't that funny Poof. 
All right, the, the, the eyes are very like intense. This is a very cool card. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It's another foundational card for number four foundation caterpillar opportunity so you know the caterpillar in alice in wonderland is kind of purplish pink and this is a really interesting card because it's a play on the word caterpillar right there's a cat i love it i love the humor in that and i love how beautiful it looks and the colors so your opportunity right now um if you're still listening to this video it means that you want your twin flame so those people who dropped off earlier in the video who were like, I just want her to tell me what my twin flame is thinking right now. Well, I, I can tell you what your twin flame is thinking, um, but that's not going to serve you, right? Like, and the only reason that I know what your twin flame is thinking is because that's what you're thinking, right? <laughs> like, so if we have a conversation and you're like, I feel unworthy, well, then I'm going to say, okay, well, your twin flame thinks that too, right? Because they mirror you they're mirroring your consciousness back to yourself so here's this is going to be the last card for this recording we're going to go deeper into this deck and another recording but the, your opportunity is here in front of you to take charge of your twin flame journey to really claim your power back and choose to heal your peace and come into harmony with your twin flame so i've dropped a lot of like easter eggs in this video about how to do that and i'm going to tell you directly now so underneath in the description box under this video, um, I would like to work with you. And I have a really very easy way that you can work with me and I've got a, a special deal for you. So if you go um, to the link to get your free introductory Twin Flame Ascension course, you, there's no, no obligations. You don't have to put a credit card in. It literally just comes to your email. And I'm not gonna spam you and neither is Twin Flames Universe, okay? So you get that free introductory Twin Flame Ascension course. You're gonna get a coupon code for 50 percent off an introductory session with me it's a really good deal guys like you can either have 30 minutes or you can have an hour so whatever you choose it's 50 percent off of that first time client only yes that's my my bell saying i have to go so go in the description box under this video grab that free introductory course you don't even have to have an introductory session with me to get that course but i want you to right because i want to help you it's not about money, guys. Like, I want to help you heal your union. I want you to succeed in your union. And when you have a session with me, it's my undivided attention to you and your union. All of your next steps. I'm going to show you your blocks. So get ready. <laughs> and it's all done through love, right? I, if you, you know, subscribe to my channel um, and watch many of my videos, you know that I speak the truth and I'm very, you know, I don't beat around the bush, but I also really love every single one of my clients with all my heart. And I'm walking, you know, dedicated to walking with you all the way to your harmonious twin flame union and beyond. Also in the description box under this video is that book, a link to the book if you don't have it. So grab those. And I've also got other goodies in there. So see you next time and God bless. Bye-bye.